how to solve simultaneous equations using substitution method. In this video, I will show you step by step on how to solve this type of question and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you would like to improve in your math skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at the first question. For question 1, solve the following simultaneous equation by using substitution method. So here is given two equations which are 3x plus half y equals to 6 and 2x minus y equals to 12. So first of all, I'm going to write down these two equations over here and I'm going to label them as equation 1 and 2. So 3x plus half y equals to 6. So this is going to be equation 1 and then 2x minus y equals to 12 and it's going to be equation 2. So since we have to use substitution method, I'm going to make this y as a subject. So negative y shift over to the right hand side become positive y and then 12 shift over to the left hand side becomes minus 12. So it'll be 2x minus 12 and then we swap them around, we get y equals to 2x minus 12 and this is going to be my equation 3. And then I'm going to substitute equation 3 into equation 1. So substitute equation 3 into equation 1. So I'm going to write down equation 1 again, which is 3x plus half y equals to 6. And then I'm going to substitute this 2x minus 12 into y. Okay, so it becomes 3x plus half and a y is 2x minus 12 equals to 6 and then I'm going to expand this bracket so we get 3x plus half times 2x is x half times negative 12 is negative 6 equals to 6 and then I'm going to solve this to find x so 3x plus x is 4x equals this negative 6 shift over to the right hand side become plus 6 so 6 plus 6 will get 12 so x is equals to 12 divided by 4 so therefore x is equals to 3 after that we have to substitute x equals to 3 into equation 3 to find y so y is equals to 2x minus 12 and then I'm going to substitute x equals to 3 into here so equals to 2 times 3 minus 12 so 2 times 3 is equals to 6 and then 6 minus 12 is equals to negative 6. So now we have the answers for x and y. So you write again, therefore x is equals to 3 and y is equals to negative 6. So that's the answer. For question 2, solve the following simultaneous equation by using substitution method. So given two equations here which are 3y plus 2x plus 6 equals to 0 and x minus 2y minus 11 equals to 0. So for this question, I'm going to label this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. So I'm going to write it down over here which is 3y plus 2x plus 6 equals to 0 equation 1 x minus 2y minus 11 equals to 0, equation 2. So since we have to use substitution method, I'm going to make this x as a subject on the left, so x equals to, so negative 2y shift over to the right hand side becomes positive 2y, negative 11 shift over to the right hand side becomes positive 11, and this one I label as equation 3. After that, I'm going to substitute 3 into 1, so substitute equation 3 into 1 okay so I'm going to write down equation 1 again which is 3y plus 2x plus 6 equals to 0 and I'm going to substitute this into x okay so 3y plus 2 and x is 2y plus 11 plus 6 equals to 0 and then you have to expand this bracket so we get 3y plus 2 times 2y is 4y, 2 times 11 is plus 22, plus 6 equals to 0. 
Then we solve this to find y. So 3y plus 4y is 7y. And 22 plus 6 is 28 equals to 0. So 7y equals to positive 28 shift over to the right become negative 28. So y is equals to negative 28 divided by 7. So y is equals to negative 4. And then we have to find the value of x. So we're going to substitute this into equation 3 to find the value of x. So x is equals to 2y plus 11. So x is equals to 2 times with y is negative 4. So I'm going to substitute here negative 4 plus 11. So 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 plus 11. So x is equals to, so negative 8 plus 11 is 3. So therefore, x is 3 and y is negative 4. So that's the answer. For question 3, solve the following simultaneous equation by using substitution method. Okay, given equation 5a plus 3b equals to 27 and 2a plus b equals to 10. So for these two equations, I'm going to label the first equation as equation 1 and the second one as equation 2. So I'm going to write it down over here. So 5a plus 3b equals to 27 and this one I label as equation 1. And then 2a plus b equals to 10, I'm going to label this as equation 2. And then, since we have to use substitution method, I'm going to choose this b to be a subject on the left. So therefore, it will be 10. This one shift over become minus 2a. And this one is going to be equation 3. After that, I'm going to substitute equation 3 into equation 1. So substitute equation 3 into equation 1. So it become so I'm going to write this down first and then I'm going to substitute this into this b so it becomes 5a plus 3 10 minus 2a equals to 27 and then we have to expand this bracket so it becomes 5a plus 30 minus 6a equals to 27 and then we have to solve this to find the value of a so 5a minus 6a is negative a so equals 27 minus 30 because positive 30 shift over become negative 30 so negative a is equals to so 27 minus 30 is negative 3 so a is equals to negative 3 over this is negative 1 so shift over become divided by negative 1 so therefore a is 3 okay so after that we have to find the value of b so I'm going to substitute this 3 into equation 3 to find the value of b. So b is equals to 10 minus 2a. So equals 10 minus 2 times 3. So equals 10 minus 6. And b is equals to 4. So therefore, a is equals to 3 and b equals to 4. And that's the final answer. Well, that's all for now. Stay tuned to my next video which is how to solve simultaneous equations using elimination method coming up soon. Bye guys!